Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, today we again will take a look at the Canadian dollar uh, since it has made another step up in the next step in our uh, scenario. Uh, the daily chart is not really significant, or not really interesting for us because the situation here almost the same as we have discussed last time. But on the forward time frame chart we see some progress and uh, following the logic that we have uh, discussed, the Canadian dollar should turn to the upside action very soon. Uh, I suspect that uh, the, the only driving factor that could become it today that probably will be the positive numbers of the non-farm payrolls. Uh, you know that the Reuters poll expects, that the analysis poll expects that 220 thousands of the new job should be created. It's the, this is the consensus, consensus expectation. So any upside surprise uh, above this probably will trigger the uh, U.S. dollar growth in the short-term perspective, Let's drop below, for example, 180,000 probably will be treated as the negative numbers. Uh, so that's why this the, the, the trading on the Canadian dollar coincides right now with the gambling around the non-farm payrolls numbers. Uh, that's why it's not suitable for everybody. Maybe if you would like to take the bet on the non-farm numbers, you probably could do this. So on the daily chart. Uh, as you can see, market has turned to the upper channel. Now it stands above the monthly pivot point and the target stands in 34, 30, 34, 10 area. This is, uh, major, our major, uh, monthly target. It, it is based on the ABCD extension on the monthly chart. And also this butterfly target coincides with the monthly ABCD. So that's the major destination on the Canadian dollar that we discussing probably a few months already. So on the forward time frame chart, uh, our last talk was the about the way how Canadian dollar is moving inside this channel. And we said that take a look that when the move down market usually forms the widening triangles. Uh, when it uh, forms the uh, shape inside of the channel, it, it shows the widening triangles. It's just how, mar how Canadian dollar moves inside on the channel on the downward direction. So here was some sort of this triangle here is, could be seen very clear. And right now again. And uh, last time when we have talked on the Canadian, we said, well guys, probably as soon as market will reach the bottom with this widening triangle, the next step should be, uh, is move up. That has happened. So this one move. But after that, market should show another dive down and touch the support line, and that has and, and this has happened a few hours ago. So we can see this drop really has happened, and market has tested this bottom. That keeps door open for a ping on the butterfly, as as it was here. So here we've got the butterfly, and here we could get it again, right? And uh, the chances of getting the butterfly gives us also the very clear uh, setup that where, where you definitely know where your invalidation point. And where is your target? It's 127 extension, 134.10. The destination of this butterfly also coincides with the same target that we have on the monthly and on the daily chart. We all already have discussed this. That's why, uh, if you have intention to trade market on the long side of, uh, of the Canadian, so, uh, on this pair. So you could, uh, stick with the possible butterfly. Invalidation point of the butterfly stands below these lows. So if market will break it and taking out of these lows, so butterfly will fail. And that lets you to place relatively tight stop. The target will be 134.10 area. This is major, our major targets. You can see risk reward ratio is, is very nice. Uh, and, uh, but the, 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 some nuance, the, the, uh, fr fragility of this, uh, fragility of this current, um, setup stands mostly with the, no farm data because to be honest it's obviously that the result of this trade will depend on the numbers that's uh, some uh, let's call it as a 
in, indefinite factor in the in, in this uh, analysis. So this is not purely technical stuff, but this setup that's uh, mostly is based on the numbers that we will get. Um, that adds some uncertainty in the results of this possible trade. But still, from a technical point of view, uh, this setup looks not bad. And you have any, if you have any intention to trade Canadian dollar on the long side, you could use it because as you can see, that's the uh, shape of the butterfly right now. You could see very clear. Uh, butterfly gives you definite levels where the invalidation point when is the target. So everything you have for a possible trade. Uh, you could drop your time frame, say, to the hourly chart and then uh, just trying to take the position based on some retracement here with the stops below the lows of the butterfly. So that's major idea of the possible trading. So let's see how it will turn.